Okay, so we've already gone through writing two-step equations. We're just going to go ahead and take it one step further and talk about how to write two-step inequalities. Now, to do that, we still want to keep the same um, algebraic equation format, except we're going to turn this into an algebraic inequality. So we still need to have our variable, we need to have our constant, and we need to have our target, either what it's going to be equal to, less than, greater than, um, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Now, speaking of that vocabulary, we have our symbols. This is greater than, which also means more. Then you have less than, which also, of course, can mean less. Greater than or equal to, which can mean at least or minimums. So if you're saying something is greater than or equal to something, it can't be any less than that something. So it's going to be at least or minimum. And then lastly, we have less than or equal to, which is at most. You can't get any more. And which is the maximum. Okay, so these are going to be the foundations that we're going to use to replace the equal to sign um, with an inequality. Now, that's the main difference between equations and inequalities is just the equal to sign or the inequality. Okay, so let's start by taking a couple of examples. All right, I'm going to have to cover this up for a while. All right, so our first one. Our first one says three times a number plus five is greater than or equal to 20. So I'm just gonna look up here on my list. I know that I need greater than or equal to, which is gonna be right here, okay? So five times a number plus, oh, I'm sorry, that's three times, not five times. Three times a number plus five is greater than or equal to 20. So this would be my two-step inequality. Now, we're not gonna focus on solving it. All we're gonna focus on here is writing it down, okay? So I could also say three times a number plus five is the minimum or is at least 20. So I could use that different vocabulary as well, at least or minimum, all right? So number two, Daniel had $25 to spend at a fair. If the admission to the fair is $4 and the rides cost $1.50 each, what is the greatest number of rides Daniel could go on? So the greatest number of rides, okay? So that means less than or equal to, all right? Since I'm talking about the greatest, which is gonna be the maximum that I could go, all right? So the fair costs $4 to get in, right? And rides cost $1.50 each, so plus 1.5x, all right? And we know for sure that we cannot spend more than $25, okay? So this would be my inequality. 4 plus 150 is going to be less than or equal to $25. It has to be less than or equal to $25 because I can't spend any more. $25 is all that he has, okay? Number three. Seventh grade is putting on a show to raise money. It costs seven dollars to rent the gym. All right, so cost that is a negative thing. If they change, if they charge fifteen dollars for each ticket, how many tickets do they need to sell in order to raise at least a thousand? Okay, so at least a thousand means greater than or equal to a thousand. Always try to start with your target or your inequality. It makes things a lot easier. And I know they're gonna charge $15 per ticket, but it did cost them 700 in order to first rent the gym out. So my inequality is gonna be 15X minus 700 has to be greater than or equal to 1,000. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the other examples. Ken has $25. MP3 downloads cost $75 each. How many songs can be downloaded and still have $13 to spend? Okay, so it says I still need to have $13 to spend. All right, so this cost has to be less than or equal to 13. Okay. Ken has $25, so we have 25 is gonna be our constant. And then we're taking away 75 cents for each song downloaded. And um, just so that you know that we don't always have to put X, 
for 75 cents per song, I'm going to put an S there. So my variable is going to be S instead of X. You can certainly do that. Let's take a look at our last example. Trinity had $500 in a savings account at the beginning of the summer. So that sounds like a constant. She wants to have at least 200 in the account by the end of the summer. So she wants to have at least 200. So at least has to be greater than or equal to 200. She withdraws $25 each week for food, movies, and clothes. So she's taking away $25 each week. So 25W. And of course, she starts with 500. So my final inequality is going to be 500 minus 25W has to be greater than or equal to $200 because she wants to have at least $200 in her account. And that's it. We'll practice more in class.